Welcome to Exchange Rates UK TV. It is the 28th of February, 2022. It is the end of the month. And it's, uh, well, it is either pre-ending the month as a bull or it's starting the new month as a bull, depending on how you want to look at it, because uh, we have a really nice PAMP going on in Ethereum. Um, of course, a lot could change. This is all really just coming off of um, a couple of things. One, the, these are, we've been discussing these uh, cyclical reversals and return to a bull market for a while. And that, you know, the only thing really holding up the move has been um, temporary gyrations related to uh, non-technical uh, events such as Russia invading Ukraine. And of course, you're seeing a uh, bullish response ac across uh, all risk on markets that uh, are feeling hopeful that there's some type of resolution coming out of that very soon. From Ethereum's perspective, at least here on the daily chart, which is what I'm going to focus on, is this area right here at 2800. So, I mean, over the weekend, and I think uh, last, I don't remember when I talked about Ethereum last week, but one of the things it really needed to do to prevent, you know, a big, a big sell off is it needed to close back inside the cloud um, because the Chiku span lagging span if it closed below the candlestick the body of the candlestick and is an open space and then yesterday it closed below the cloud that confirmed an ideal bearish ichimoku breakout and that that was positioned for another sell-off but then you get to today seeing kind of a reversal here possibly a a bullish uh engulfing candlestick i mean there's plenty of there's plenty of hours left i mean it's 11 34 a.m eastern time so there's you know, roughly seven and a half hours left so a lot can happen i mean if break if, if if negotiations between Ukraine and, and Russia break down, they go poorly. I mean, you could just see it flush again and just reverse very strongly. Everything's very, very sensitive to do that kind of stuff. But from where it's currently at, this is very bullish. Uh, and really what, what bulls need to do now is close Ethereum above the bottom of this linear regression channel. This is the prior bull flag that existed. And it's kind of crawling back into the the above that that lower trend line, and it's above the Kijun Sen. So if that if that happens, that's going to be a pretty big deal. Ultimately, what needs to happen is you need to get uh, a, a daily close where the closes above the Ichimoku cloud and the Chiku spans above the bodies of the candlesticks and an open space. The earliest that that can occur is a close around thirty two fifty. Uh, but as the days move on, that threshold drops to not much, <laughs> to 3,200. Uh, but as long as we're sitting inside the cloud and holding the bottom of the cloud of support, that's a pretty, uh, that, that's, a, that's a fairly good sign that, that's, that, that can be considered hopeful. Um, you know, the, the relative strength index is still in bear market conditions. Um, very neutral sitting where it's at right now. So it does support some higher moves. So uh, 2,800, that is where it really needs to close at to uh, prevent, uh, or uh, will rather mitigate any, any further downside activity, but uh, we'll see what happens. It is inside the cloud, which is where volatility and all things bad. It's where trading accounts go to die. But if you want to mitigate downside pressure, it needs to stay in here for now and ideally just move higher. So, as far as upside potential, you know, throughout the week, um, I mean, if you if you continue to get you know some consecutive when cryptos break out, I mean, it's not uncommon to see eight to thirteen percent consecutive up days. And if that's the case, the breakout above thirty two hundred, thirty three hundred is going to be very easy to attain. But I would say that uh, likely to see it limited to that thirty one fifty to th that the top of the Ichimoku cloud probably going to be a stopping point uh, this week. Uh, for Ethereum, downside pressure it's it's significant. It could it could be extend all the way down to the eighteen hundred zone, but for right now things look pretty bullish, and we'll just kind of keep an eye on it and update it as needed. From all of us here at Exchange Rates UK TV, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.